Hi, this is part two of the GSU, the guided setup for Scorpius RMS. Um, video number one described the uh, race setup. Just here to um, go for the driver setup. It's very simple. Driver name. Ricardo Would you like to use the default audio configuration for a driver? I'm not big on sounds But I'd normally press yes. Let's just press no to see what happens Okay, so it takes you through Every sound possible and you can upload any WAV file. Okay, you can record your own sounds if you can't get them online. Um, that's what we did. So I'm this time happy with that one. Next, personal best heat sounds. Race leader sounds, heat leader sounds, etc. Now here's your avatar for your driver. Once you can get in, you just go into your pictures and select your your um, headshot. Use default images. No, I normally click yes, but and racing state image. I'm happy with that as a um, as a start a start flag. It's just a human driver. It's just press no. Constant speed, recorded path, smart path. So we've got re the, um, this is still under construction, but it gives you an idea. The latest beta version does actually record, um, goes cars and plays it and plays back. Uh, but it's a work in progress at the moment. Okay. So I'm just going to go for constant speed. Okay. So I'll ask you how you want to set up the lane changing for the pace of car. And you can have it this one at the current. It's changing. It's sending a lane change signal every two seconds by the looks of it. And the actual lane change percentage so it will try and change lanes 33 out of 100 times or 33 percent and that's configurable let's make things a bit interesting i'll make it 50. okay do you want to reset the linear pace car lane changing timing when a lap when a lap occurs not really this is precious anyhow. Okay, driver setup is now complete. Click save to save your configuration and exit the guide. Otherwise you can go back and change the configuration or cancel it altogether. Okay, and what it's saying here, you don't have to repeat this process really uh, uh, much. So, um, but if you do, I'm gonna save this. You can go into the, uh, driver setup instead of using guided driver setup you go straight into the setup and you can change all your sounds and your settings for the ghost car etc here okay so you go straight into it and straight out just to keep things simple okay so the next thing where I've got you is track setup, but I may actually leave that to the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.